Okay guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I had something that was on my mind here. We got a couple of phone calls in. Sunday the 27th, I believe it was. Pigeon Forge Police Department detective called me and was asking some questions. You know, what kind of tow trucks do you have? What are the locations? What do the tow trucks look like? Just some kind of some alarming some alarming questions and uh, I guess coming to find out there's a company from out of state that have been here in Pigeon Forge in the Pigeon Forge area stealing cars supposedly got a few cars I think uh, Saturday was the kind of the day in question at least for me where we were at and where our trucks were at and what they look like and so I guess something happened there where they'd stolen a few cars or they were they were shuffling so here's my here's my thing I guess he was a youtuber as well so he's he's grabbing them in one location and taking them to another location and maybe it's just solely for content i guess because obviously you're not making any money by moving someone's car from i think i think the one was uh they picked it up from pizza place and took it to a grocery store or something mm -hmm. like that I, yeah. I can't remember what the details were but we've seen it another post on the internet about it just thought that that was kind of crazy but we you know we cleared it up obviously it's you know our trucks don't look anything like that and we're not out doing those sort of things mm -hmm. so and i explained to the detective that it is frustrating because here in the past year or so we've we've gotten quite a few phone calls about hey do you have my car why did you pick up my car i know it was you it was a black tow truck you know all those crazy kind of things and they just automatically assume i guess that that we have it and the people i don't know i'm gonna say people i think there's a few running around the area that do this it's not just this one well it's this one fellow stealing cars, but people are not reporting what they're taking. So, you know, we will always, always, always report everything that we remove just because, uh, and I think I've said this before in our previous videos, it saves a tremendous amount of paperwork. I know if I was an officer, I would not want to do any extra paperwork that wasn't necessary because that's no fun. I mean, you know, that's not, I don't know. I can't say that. I guess maybe some people like to do paperwork, but <laughs> I'm not one of those people. I'll tell you that much right now. So if I was an officer and I had to do extra paperwork, I'd be mad. So just report what you're taking and that, you know, that, that clears everything. And, and not to mention just the other safety end of it is, is that if that vehicle happens to be stolen and somebody's looking for it, when you report it, then they know immediately. It's not something that, that goes back to impound lot on, you know, our lot or whoever else had taken it. You know, it could sit there for months and nobody would ever know because nobody ever run the paperwork on it. And so it's just, the, it's just the right thing to do. And that's what we do every time. But yeah, we do get a lot of those, a lot of those calls. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. So somewhere around in the Pigeon Forge area, there is a, there is a black tow truck that is doing the car shuffle, I guess. I don't, I don't know how else to explain that, but uh, just look out, be vigilant, I guess, of, of that and, and know that it's not everything auto and if it was everything auto then our youtube sub subscribers would know about it because you'd get to see it you'd get to see me doing it <laughs> but anyway guys i just thought i'd put that out there is there anything else that we need to add supposedly he was doing repos and he would go live on youtube or facebook or whatever he was like going live and doing these repos but it was like a setup it wasn't like a real repo and he was picking them up and then you know doing that for the video and then just dropping them off at some random place and you know so yeah it's solely doing it for for youtube content and it was all fake but it's going to catch up with him i would assume that the the detective obviously by now knows what's going on he was he was pretty heated he was not happy because i assumed that it had gotten back to him that it was a black tow truck and looked like ours the same design and stuff and i'm sure it was said that he does youtube mm -hmm. so they instantly instantly thought it was me mm -hmm. so yeah i had i had quite a few questions to answer you know luckily it's you got it all cleared up there pretty quickly like i said i sent I sent pictures and sent all of our information over to the to the detective and he was able to determine that hey that's not everything auto and he specifically asked if you had taken a specific car saturday mm -hmm. night from a particular location and mm -hmm. you know but yeah guys it's, you just never know it's the crazy stuff like that but anyway stick around stay tuned as always we've got more good stuff coming your way we're creeping co closer to the holidays uh got some more giveaways that we want to do there and know that uh the merch store uh, we've got uh, shirts, hats, hoodies, uh, stickers. We've got a lot of good stuff out there, and we do appreciate the support for 
all of those purchases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, representing your people, we appreciate that. We're working towards our goal and get a lot of new subscribers every day and I'm getting one step closer to a play button. So. Woo! Super excited about that, guys. But it's a rainy old Saturday. We've had a busy night and a busy morning. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what Saturday night's gonna hold, but uh, you won't wanna miss out. Like I said, 12 days of Christmas, I think Kendra's got planned. Our wonderful daughter works so hard on she getting does. you guys your content. Um, so just know that she's working very hard on getting a whole mess of videos, 12 videos ready for the 12 days of Christmas. And then she's gonna have to also prepare for you know the follow-up videos and things like that so guys give her a shout out down below <laughs> kendra does an amazing job yes she and does. um without her this stuff doesn't happen so but anyway enough rambling we got to get back to work so i'll see you on the next one okay youtube thanks to jerry mccarter he told me to come and show you guys something that i would have never thought in a million years someone see, would ever try back the truck over here in the church parking lot so we're not blocking the road nah we'll block the road for this one what in in the world. They didn't call us. They didn't call us, but I gotta I gotta show you guys this. Hello. I couldn't help but stop on that one. <laughs> I'm just driving by and I ain't never seen nothing like that. That's what we said. Hey, what's the chance of him driving by here? He said go. We went. For sure. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope it continues to go up the hill instead of down the hill. <laughs> I hope it continues to go up the hill instead of down here. Yeah, that's where it was supposed to go, was up there. Because if that thing, there ain't much holding that. No, there ain't. What, what you're going to run into is, what's, what's happening, man? Once that back end comes across that, there ain't gonna be nothing to hold it from flipping over. Yeah, I know. He didn't bother to tell us about this part down here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, right now that's the only thing saving you is that back end is bottomed out right here. Yep, he started spinning and the trailer started going right. I'm going, oh and he just stopped. <laughs> I'm telling him, no, go, 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 go. My goodness. Yeah, that's, I definitely want to keep it up on that side there. That's, that doesn't seem good. Well, I'll, ha I'll hang around just in case. <laughs> I know, yeah, it needs something. Probably cable to that tree over there to hold that camper from flipping over. Yeah, we ain't got Yeah, that's, that's terrifying. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I will, I will, we'll hang around. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that I don't think that little bobcat's gonna be strong enough. They had a Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be more power than than dry. He's just gonna dig in driving. Yeah, I don't I don't tell him he already looks like a big junk. Yeah, it's uh that's in a worse way. Yeah. I mean, if, I I don't know that that thing would even track that same direction. I, I, was, I was telling her like once I his said, back end comes off of that, there ain't gonna be nothing holding it from going that way. Right. The only thing holding it now that is that ba is that back end. That tree. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get worse right there as that back end leaves that ravine. Back up. Back that up. Good insurance on this thing. Huh? Well, it'll pull both. Both up. Everything will be down here. Yeah. Well, 
thing is. Because that tree ain't going to stop it. <laughs> no. It'll take that tree out for sure. See, if you had a, see, Kenny, they were going to work on his house. They had a front end loader, the porch, dig down there, and maybe pick it up just a little bit. Yeah, it needs something that'll. But then that stuff is so man, thin on the back of that. You'd, you'd, go flying you'd tear that. Yeah, you'd tear that. To yeah, that I thing off there. <laughs> there just ain't I'll nothing. Back here watch. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I think I'm with you on that one. I we've Don't hooked to a few of those. Just get a, I don't know if a bone truck would be heavy enough. Just finding something to hook to is going to be the bad. You go all the way around it with a strap. But you have to stay away from that on, and you'll just oh, it smash it. Those walls on that camper are so thin, it just smashed the walls too. I said, yo, dude. I said, why didn't you just come up to Dudley Creek and come around? That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's definitely not a good idea. <laughs> and there ain't no way I can get in front of him, is there? There's no way in, no way out. Why wouldn't he have a head? That's what I don't like up here, man. I tell these people they rent these cabins. Y'all better go to the grocery store first. You wake up in the morning and be six foot of damn snow or six inches. Yeah. You can't get up and down. You're hungry. Well, I've dug quite a few people out of this right here because they'll come down and slide and, and they'll just keep on going. and they'll end up in here or over there because they turn too sharp. It's raining for two days and them rocks, man. That ain't, that ain't no good. No. It's, it's, yeah, it's. Well, Gordon Hill is solid. solid. He probably lived there by himself. Yeah, like damn he was it was nice and solid. Yeah, there's no way. There's no. That's not a good I'm idea. I'm sitting here thinking, I don't see how. No. Uh. Uh. Is is the dually four wheel? Yes. Four wheel drive. I started to see. I see it look like it was dug in up there. Digging in, man. That's heavy, man. That's heavy. Well, we've. I mean, it poured down right here. Trying to pull it off this rock. Yeah, that's the thing. It's bottomed out that there. Once you get the back to work, like you say, where that stump is right there. He could pull. Yeah, he could pull. You'll have to have something that'll lift that. That's what he was saying. If the guy could get behind him and lift with that bucket a little bit. But they're going to, go. yeah. That's the thing. Is they're going to they're gonna damage that. If they he if he put a bucket under that back, they're going to tear uh, the back of that camper off. See the thing about me? I'm the type of person I'd drive right down inside that, in that ditch but if I had that <laughs> bucket. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I know they don't they don't give you anything in the back nothing yeah yeah you'll make a permanent back door on it if you touch anything on that back at least we do repair them too so. yeah we try to stay out of this area though we've met some good guys up here that do it. oh yeah for sure yeah that's uh about the only thing you have to work with is axle on that one and they're they're not on there the best you'll pull axles out of them pretty quick too we were doing a recovery on one of these over in Wares Valley and the fellow said, well, just hook to the ladder. I said, sir, yeah. would you look, at, <laughs> look yeah. at that ladder and tell me that's something you'd want to hook to. You can hook to her, but she'll be disconnected just about as quick as I put a little pressure on <laughs> Hey, I got a question. You think you could take your bucket and dig in and pull him up? You know what I mean, flat? I know what you're talking about. You don't think it'll do it? No, no. I'm thinking though, if I get a beam, a big enough beam, that's the problem. I need like a railroad tie practically. Well, I got some big ass logs up there that I just cut. I cut down 50 trees, so if I can put it down in front of that stump and over over up, up underneath that jack and lift that Are those up. automatic jacks? Yeah, I drive. And then drive off of it. No, that's all I'm talking about. I'm talking about lifting it back up enough to put something underneath those wheels so that he can drive off. That may work. How wide is that camper? Eight foot? Probably wider than that, ain't it? I don't know. Yeah, I'd, I'd say. say That's what it looks like. Mm. The thing is, can one of these lift up at the time? Or both I, I can do them one at a time. Because that one over there is so low, you won't be able to get nothing under it. Unless it's a thin log. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, if you could crib up under it, you might. That's the only thing I can think of is use that stump to hold it in. Yeah, that stump's pretty much what's got it right now. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't put nothing against that. Man, hell, you'd be inside of it. Oh, yeah, they're, 
They're so thin. Well, we're going to try something else. I want to bring the log down. I want to jack it up. Um, down, uh, down, uh, and try to get something up underneath the... Uh, and you need about a 12-foot jobby right there. Okay, I just have to back down here. I'm going to be involved. <laughs> I got to go to work in the morning, too. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It doesn't sound well, good. There's a wrecker already here, honey, and there's the problem is um, the frame is already sitting on the ground. You wouldn't so build no that up, you would you? Underneath. I, I could probably it pick it up, if, but something to go around yeah, around. finding something to get around is. So uh, you'd at least be able to get the pressure off of it. Like I said, like you say, it, man, it will and just it'll pop rivets and bolts. Yeah, it just tears the hell out of things and. Is it uh, the last one I had had actually had a receiver on the back of it? I guess this doesn't have a tow package on it. It's got a receiver. It's got it. That's it's, what drug what right drug. there. It didn't hurt nothing under there. That was just what was dragging right there. The little piece. I was able to. I was able to rim sling that receiver on the last one I done and picked it up. But yeah, getting to it is. Yeah, it's right here. If you could get enough to dig out to get a sling under it and get it get it tied, that'd be the. Hey, how about if you put a hitch on that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Yeah, I've got a I've got a receiver that's got a D ring on it, and that's you that's got one there to go in there. The best way to pick up on it, but once you pick up on it, what's maybe back up do, while he goes forward? You might drag the whole shebang on down the hill. I don't. Well, let me get those logs down here first, okay? I well, I'm gonna run back to my house. I'll just help him back up. I'll come well, down there and give you a hand, you. man. <laughs> I'll wait till afterwards. Take There's a picture. No yeah. I'll wait till afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, I wouldn't do it right now. No, uh-uh. But see, I would. I'd pay you put that race hitch on there. You just pick it up. Just try to pick bit. it up a little bit and let him pull. Yeah. Because he or, uh, all this He got money. Yeah. Oh, he's got money anyhow, man. You know, I might even... You might even have him come back down the hill and try again. Leave him leave him up there with that as an anchor. Pick up on that and let him just ease back down the hill and get another shot yeah, at it. Because yeah. he's... I'm the type of person. I got it back down the hill on this. I road. would put it back I'm up. I'm gonna say it's, I'm gonna park it right here. <laughs> yeah. It's your job to get it up. Right? Yeah, it wouldn't go back down the hill after that. It's just too steep now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be the crazy thing is trying to get it. But I'm with you though. He's he was almost there, so it Did might be. Buy that? Why don't you build you a cabin? He said this is gonna be permanent. He's gonna live up there. Why don't you just build you a cabin up there, dude? They can uh, build you one in a week. That's got to be two hundred thousand dollars anyway. At least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just a transport guy. Oh, they Jesus, in he's in trouble. Yeah. He might not have a transport company here in a little bit after he has to pay for that camper down here in the... That's a while ago when he did it. Someone got to all this that can be down in this bit. Oh, yeah. And it'll be on its top, and then you probably have yeah, two... Just gonna walk away, man. You imagine ahead. the price tag of two heavies to get this out of this ravine down here. Yeah, just to throw it away. Yeah, just to throw it away. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to have a semi to transport it out of here. It'd be in pieces. Jesus. Yeah, we might be better off, brother, to be down here watching from the yeah, sidelines. Yeah, man. Cause the thing is, well, I listen to you. No, you ain't got to listen to me. <laughs> no. I moved a lot of shit, but man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have tried that going up there. No way. I wouldn't have did that. No way. One, one, two, six, eight. Yeah. That hitch is only ready for 250 pounds. So, thank you anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know it what? will. That, that, that's my key to going to the house. And yeah. Take yeah, that's the, the that's the key to I be on that. No. I'm gonna stay down here and have a peace of mind. <laughs> What's the plan? <laughs> thank you for the video, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, I'm sorry, I didn't oh, you're okay. It's like he's got to come along over to that side, doesn't he? Yeah. I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't go the rest of the way over. Okay, Bill. Hey, Bill, you ran out of real estate up here, didn't you? <laughs> I think that back's dug in there. I don't think it would. I don't think it's gonna want to go back. Well, I'm better for to take my foot off the brake. How much diesel you got? How much diesel you got? Okay, that was going to be my next question. It's a def I don't have. <laughs> and that'll get you in trouble too because it'll shut down on you. We do winch out some recoveries on these steep things and, and I don't ever go without everything being full because it's got me in trouble. I've, I got 54 miles of def. It won't, it's not using any other idle. 
Um, That's a nice thing. Yeah. Cool. And you don't have... You, Here's what we were talking about. You can't come any farther to the left, and that's what you're going to need to miss this back here. That's what right. I was trying to do, but I can see the drag marks in the road down there. Yeah. But that damn thing, instead of staying straight, started running down the hill as I was coming this it's just, way. It tracked over into that, it naturally. It to where it should have come through, but once it started dragging, then we're sliding on the frame instead of on the wheel. Instead of coming back down, yeah. I think that's the only thing stopping you is it's dug in back there on that receiver. At least that's what it seems like. You get you a freaking piece of track equipment with fifth wheel attached to get it up here because if you can lower the nose down and keep it from dragging and all that, turn it a whole lot sharper. Oh yeah, yeah, getting it up here. and That's what should have happened. He should have known better for sure. I don't know why he's... I don't know why he didn't want us. Yeah, Every there's no, and he told me coming from that direction, it would just come around the corner and straight into my driveway. Boom. No, yeah, Not that's straight into the driveway. No, if it was straight in that driveway, that pole wouldn't freaking be there, and that driveway would be coming <laughs> off of right there. Yeah, and it's got a little belly right there where you're at, so it's uh, no, just cover your guys' hind ends, make sure you got plenty of pictures and plenty of stuff on his end because oh, yeah. if that thing ends up in the thing over here that's not going to be good for anybody involved so uh my truck's destroyed you're uh the other thing you got to worry about is compromising that that hitch attachment back there's a lot of pressure once it starts coming over that way i don't know i don't know what his plans are he's yelling for a longer chain is he is he going to try to pull still or no what he was trying to do is he wants to secure the log and try to jack it up and get stuff under those tires on this side to get the frame off the ground so that I can go forward. So you can go forward. I'm sure if, if the frame's not on the ground and the tires are on the ground, I won't spin. Yeah, you'll go. I'll go. Yeah, you're just bottomed out back there. It just needs a little lift on that. Yeah. And if this was solid instead of mud. Man, it, it poured down rain, I'm telling you, buckets for 24 hours just about. So that's... the other guy said. He said it's been yeah. here for about two days straight. Yeah. It's been bad. You guys pulled down those, locked that down. Oh, that's bad. I said, yeah, that's what we said. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> man, that's just a, it's a tough one. But I, I don't it's think terrible it'll coming in from that direction. Oh yeah, that road tire to tire, edge to edge of the road, making the corners. Those are usually the calls we get, are the people that didn't make the curve and then and off. Well, I've. I've lifted a bunch and Here scooted I am them. going 10 and 15 mile an hour, like the speed limit says, or less. Yeah. And I got people come flying up on me. Yeah. They're not even anywhere remotely. But that's the other thing. He should have told you guys the route in. All of that should have been planned out. Well, he, he just told us the route in, and he said he, he used to do a 27 foot travel trailer that way, or 28 foot travel trailer. And I don't see how. No, it's not safe. It's not safe. He's got you guys in a pickle for sure. I don't. But yeah, I mean, I don't think it'll go. I'm sure you'd like to be out of the truck to look and assess and see what's going on. I'd set e-brakes and e-brakes don't hold in reverse. You got any chalks in the bed? I got a couple of blocks of wood. That's it. Two to six inches. There's off the brake. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it'll go anywhere. If you wanted to get out and come look, I, it's it's dug in pretty good back there. Yeah, that's the making sure you're. You're not compromising your bed back there and then trying to figure out what he's got going on. Them tree limbs are eye pokers, aren't they? <laughs> there is no way to freaking drag that this way. Not with what he's got there. That's And if he thinks he's going to hook to that I know, right? utility. I know, right? Uh, that's just to stabilize the log that he's putting under here. He's, he's crazy. That's one big no-no is anything to do with the power company. Right. You stay off of their stuff. Yeah, he should be to that tree up there. Had been yeah, a better bet. It started. Yeah, you drove. Been coming across tires right freaking here, and then it started sliding down the hill. Yeah, once you once the back end come up and lifted, it probably just slid over. Because I've gotten a bunch of people out of this ravine right here. They come down that hill and they can't stop and they'll slide into that. I was telling him about that. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Once it picked up on the rear, it, it come over too far <laughs> on you there. But well, and once he started spinning, it just kept sliding. 
here's my thing is that the edge of that road's not going to be solid enough to do what you need to do that's what worries me i think i think you're gonna have to come backwards and start again that i come backwards that's that hole that how in the hell i got over i don't know I, you must have levitated over that that Magnus must have been when i was seeing tires in the air and the mirrors going oh son of a <laughs> just ain't good yeah yeah you can see where it kind of went off on your tires and you just got lucky right there but if you had something to pick up on that back to get you back down because that would be what i would because you're going you're going to have to start turning right and if you do those those that camper is going to be right on the edge of that super soft yeah i know i guarantee you that's not hard packed on the corner of that driveway yeah, say it's not. so no because there's a rut there that i seen in the picture she brought up of where it's yeah been washing yeah yeah it's washed down pretty good right there and that's Darren wasn't so far away bring his big freaking semi wrecker with the rotator and freaking lift this corner and slide the whole camper over that's what it needs that that'd be about the only thing to make me feel safe anyway right that's about three four grand oh yeah oh it's expensive yeah, oh, yeah. they're proud of the rotator if they leave the yard it's going to cost you a couple thousand dollars just to Easy. leave the yard <laughs> oh yeah and then to come over here yeah and it's the weekend they're closed on the weekend mm. they do the emergency towing and recovery but yeah it's gonna cost you hold your wallet <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah there's or he can hold his or he can hold his yeah but there ain't no getting out of it no there's there's no other way out yeah. one way in one way out there, there's there's no come get your way motor. I can fit. yeah <laughs> truck and trailer is gonna stay right here yeah i don't know I yeah just ain't paying bills tonight that's gonna be tomorrow Hopefully, just pick that thing up a little bit, and I—I'd say it—it it would, uh, it want to come back this way. Well, I'm gonna have to keep hugging that ditch, though. Boy, you're gonna have to be I pretty much in that ditch. I don't give a damn if I drop a tire in that ditch. Yeah, you'll have to be in it to be able to make that back corner, because it's only gonna get scarier as you go up. Because it was tracking beautiful until it started sliding down the hill. I'm yeah, you can see once it picked up, it slid over. Right. If it hadn't slid over that three freaking feet. You know, yeah. Yeah, like you've said, been I good. To where the wheels were coming through right here. Yeah, it's uh, just slick. Once that hitch come up off the ground, it was just like a big sled after that. Yeah, I don't know, man. Just be be careful if that's the route up, because I, I would, I'd be sucking the seed up if I was in that thing trying to get out of it. don't have to down either way. <laughs> and a piece of equipment to freaking come under here underneath this damn corner and get a hold of it. Something to stabilize it. That way they can pick it up, get it onto that frame right there, and start pushing me and pushing this this way. Yeah, yeah, that's what it needs. Something to something to get it back on the track. And if you were back on track, then uh, you'd you'd probably just go right on up. Right. But yeah, that's a far shot from straight off the freaking end of the driveway. No, that's horrible. That's angles in every different direction. Yeah. Two different directions <laughs> with a utility pole in the way. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't break his legs. He went down in that thing hard. He he had a hold of that and he slid all the way down to that culvert. I don't think the logs are going to be good. I don't see what good they do. I don't either. I think it could make things worse. Yeah. I see what needs to happen. There's just no physical way to get anywhere to be able to pull it. it need, you need your three feet back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My three feet that I lost it slipped down the freaking hill. Oof. Well, at least you got him out of the truck. Yeah. <laughs> he won't come out of the truck. He's afraid. He's afraid to get out of the truck. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. Well, all right. I guess I'll... Well, thanks for... Moral support. That's all I am. Figure out a way. That's what it's going to take is some lifting. Yeah. Whew. He's picking you up out of the ditch for a I know. People fly and the roads are wet and everything. Gee whiz. Keeps you busy. It does, yep. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't know if you're going to see the end result of this operation or not. We got some calls that we need to do and a couple of meeting places we need to get to, but uh, he might be a while on this, and and I don't know that I want any part of it. It's a, it's a pretty big liability and a little truck. It's a new dash cam. Stick around, stay tuned. These dash cams are 
very cool. So, um, we're gonna see if we can get this one figured out. Hopefully it's better than the one that's in the truck. I'm always up for upgrading and I'm always up for keeping everyone safe. These things are very cool. Yeah. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Kind of a little bit of a garage pit stop here. Garage day, one of those products that I meant to get put here in the truck because we get a lot of questions on these and a little something that I wanted to share with you guys. But we got a, a King Slim D4 dual dash cam. Now this is the dual guys. Um, it's kind of the same thing that I put in the shop van and I didn't use the dual in the shop van because I'll pull that over. The uh, shop van doesn't have rear windows. It would have made it really tough for me to mount. Kind of the same thing for the old tow truck here. I do have a rear facing uh, backup camera mounted in here so I can monitor everything that's going on when I'm hooking the auto loader up and it, it does have the rear record feature. So it's just a feature that I didn't need. But if you do grab yourself one of these uh, King Slim D4 models, it, just know that it does have the rear the rear model. And this one's 4K. It's got all of the, uh, all of the fancy bells and whistles. I could kind of scroll through it. You're going to need an SD card. That's for one. But this one's really nice. I don't know that my old one was a 4K camera. So it was definitely time to upgrade. All touchscreen stuff. It works really well. It works really well. But it's got a bunch of stuff there. I, I kind of set mine up. Obviously, you'll scroll through it. It's got miles per hour. It's got the screenshot stuff. Collision. I've got my stuff set on low. Parking monitor. You can set it so it'll monitor things while you're in the store or wherever you might be. Date and time. Audio on and off volume it's got record loop i put that one on three minute record loop gps this one does have the built-in gps which is really cool when i plugged this thing in it knew it knew exactly what time it was what day it was where i was at and all of that good stuff but just a really cool model and uh i'm excited to have a new version of everything here in the truck and um kind of show you guys my old one here so my old one my cord kind of gave up on me here. I'm not sure you can see it, but the, the plug-in uh, busted on the end and it still works, but if I hit a bump, it comes on and off and you guys have uh, have seen uh, seen the old cross tour. Uh, but it's still, still a really cool thing and it, it held up, but uh, we're gonna give this, uh, this King Slim a shot and uh, we'll let you know how that goes. But here is, I'm gonna see if I can pop that up there next to it, kingslim.net. And you can go to their website and get that stuff. Now they do have, most of the stuff is Amazon. So you can, you can pop in their stuff on Amazon and they have uh, quite a few different makes and models there and some really good deals going on. So go check them out guys. They sent me this model here and we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot and see what's going on. We, we like to have these going just because of the things we catch, you know, we catch crashes and people doing crazy things. And you know, a lot of our videos come from the dash cam. So it's, it's really nice to be able to get that recorded in a really nice uh, 4K setup. So those videos look a little better in uh, getting them out to you guys. So anyway, that's that. Go check them out, guys. They've got, uh, seems to be a really cool product. It was easy to set up. Uh, one, two, three. Like I said, it comes with the uh, the rear facing camera. It comes with all the cords, all of the fixings that you need in there. It even had all the adhesive strips if you needed to run the cord. For me in the Ram, I've got the, I've got the uh, plug-in that's on top of my dash. So I shorten my cords. I cut heat shrink, shorten my cords so I don't have all of that stuff messed up but a lot of the folks will hardwire them into the fuse box and you'd come and you'd route all of your wiring down to the fuse panel area but this one was really easy plug and play guys stick around stay tuned we got calls coming in it's time to get to work uh, one more thing that i wanted to add to this dash cam the king slim dash cam guys when you're looking for this one thing that i've noticed is uh like my last one in here was mount it had a mirror mount and uh the footage was really shaky if uh you know if you're on anything less than an absolute smooth road at least for me and my truck's really bumpy and things like that when you're looking for one of these i'd highly recommend the uh the glass mount uh, that's what it had for our shop van the glass mount and it just makes for some really smooth footage uh it doesn't it doesn't bounce and it doesn't jar around and things like that uh, but and, and uh i know it's rainy i know it's rainy out but it gives you a little little bit of a view there on on the clarity it's, it's a very nice it's very nice footage that's coming out of this thing so just wanted to add that quick little thing that i've learned about mounts and things like that so yeah look for that just look for that uh, glass mount i think that'll help out a lot of folks it's helped me out stick around stay tuned we are on our way out <laughs> 